Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Firefox web browser, which Mozilla started rolling out just a short while ago today, um, on the 9th of May 2023, and now version 113 is now the latest stable release. Now, compared to previous uh, uh, and recent releases, there's quite a lot going on with this latest um, version upgrade. Um, so just to dive straight in. Now, first of all, once the update has been applied, um, if we head over to picture in picture, so if you are playing a video as an example in YouTube and you enter the PIP window, um, there's now improvements and enhancements to picture in picture where we now get um, rewind, you can check the video duration, you can switch to full screen mode and so on. And I actually think those are some nice improvements now that have rolled out to that picture in picture window. And then moving to the address bar, um, I'm just going to use the same uh, example that Mozilla used from the release notes. Um, the address bar now improves a couple of things. So you'll always be able to see your web search items and refine them while viewing your search results, which I think is another nice move and, and an improvement for the address bar. And then um, if we head up to the private window, um, private windows now protects you by blocking third party cookies and storage of content trackers. So that's a bit of a security and privacy improvement if you are using the uh, private browsing window in version 113. And then just to do a couple of quick mentions, um, because these are mainly um, improvements that are taking place um, under the hood, so to speak. Um, the built-in password manager has received an improvement where passwords automatically generated by Firefox, Mozilla says, now include special characters, which gives you more secure passwords by default. And then um, Firefox 113 also introduces a redesigned accessibility engine, which um, improves the speed, responsiveness, and stability of Firefox when used with uh, four different and in four different scenarios. So this is a bit of a performance boost. And the first scenario is when it's used with screen readers as well as certain other accessibility software. East Asian input methods, enterprise single sign-on software, and the fourth and final one, other applications which use accessibility frameworks to access information. So that's improvements um, to a redesigned accessibility engine, as mentioned, which does um, improve performance in those four areas. And then um, if you are importing bookmarks from another browser like Safari or other Chromium-based browsers, Mozilla says the favicons for those bookmarks will now also be imported by default to make them easier to identify. And I th think that's also another nice move. And um, Firefox does currently support AVRF images across the web. And with version 113 now, um, it supports AV1 image format files containing animations. So that's a bit of another improvement there. And then another bit of a security and privacy improvement um, the Windows GPU sandbox, which, which was, as I did mention in a previous uh, Firefox update video, the Windows GPU sandbox, which first shipped in Firefox 110, um, has been um, enhanced and tightened, as um, Mozilla says, to enhance the security benefits it provides. So there's a bit of a security and privacy improvement rolling out for the GPU graphics processing unit sandbox. And believe it or not, a 13-year-old feature request has finally um, kind of come to light with Firefox version 113, better late than never, so to speak. And if Mozilla says Firefox now supports files being dragged and dropped directly from Microsoft Outlook. So if you are using Firefox and Microsoft Outlook, then that should be a nice move and has been 13 years in the making. And then if you are using the browser on Mac OS, um, on Mac OS, you can now access the services submenu directly from the Firefox context menus. And then just two more to go. I and mean, just to mention quickly, because as I mentioned, these, these changes are basically taking place behind the scenes. And then on Windows, um, the elastic overscroll effect has been enabled by default. So this means basically in a nutshell, when um, two fingers scrolling on the touchpad or scrolling on the touch screen, you will now see a bouncing animation when scrolling past the edge of a scroll container. So that's a bit of a um, scrolling in, uh, input and improvement um, in version 113. And then the final one, just to mention, um, Firefox is now available in the, and I hope I get this pronunciation right, the Tajik or Tajik language, TG language. And I, my apologies if I got that uh, 
pronunciation wrong. And then over and above that, we get some developer improvements, which is quite common in the major version upgrades. And because um, Firefox does roll out and Mozilla do roll out important security updates with every major version upgrade, if you'd like to double check if you have this release, because it is your first line of defense to the online world, we head to the menu about and we click on that and the latest version as mentioned 113.0 and um, if we head over to what's new this will take us to those release notes and i've just done a quick summary of all the key highlights and then if we head to the various security fixes that have rolled out um, in version 113 and um, it's actually 13 security fixes that have rolled out in version 113 so I don't know if that was intentional or not, but 13 security fixes have rolled out. And five of those are high impact, which is your second highest vulnerability after a critical. So as mentioned, uh, because your browser is your first line of defense, just double check it's up to date. It doesn't take very long, just takes a couple of seconds and uh, just apply the update even if you are not um, interested in any new improvements or features. So five high risk vulnerabilities have been addressed, 13 in total. Um, 13 security fixes in total have rolled out and that's more or less what's new in version 113 as mentioned quite a lot going on um, in this release compared to previous releases and besides that picture in picture window for um, videos and um, a couple of other improvements most of those are taking place under the hood so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one